Hey guys, how is everyone doing? Well, I'm doing great because for me, today is payday. <laughs> so that means I am going to be stuffing my envelopes and then you'll be getting a savings challenge video out of me. Okay, so let's, and I let me start by saying I apologize in advance if you guys hear the lawn guys outside. Of course, as soon as I hit record, they decide they want to start using the blower outside. It never fails, right? Um, anyways, if you're new here, I want to say welcome, and I hope you love the video and you will consider subscribing. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Day after day, week after week, every time I post a video, you guys are the best. So, let's go ahead and get started and see how much money we have to work with today. So I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 98, I think it was eight. I don't even know. All right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 900. And that's correct. That's how much I was supposed to have. So I've already taken out the savings challenge money. I've already taken out my bill money. And this is what I have left to do my stuffing. So as always, let's start with giving, which I was on vacation for the last week. So um, I really didn't bring this envelope with me. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it in my giving envelope and add it to what I have. So how has everybody been? Hopefully everyone has been doing fabulous. All right, grocery is empty, gas is empty, spending is empty, everything is empty. But what I do have left is money for my, um, what are we in, April? April. I don't even know what, what yeah, we're in April. <laughs> Um, I have money for my investments. Disney, no. This must be April because it's empty. So we're going to have five, ten. We're adding $15. And I need to find out what we're investing into today, this month. Because I don't even know. So we're going to go ahead and fill in 15 days. This challenge is from Mommy Trader here on YouTube. And this is her dollar a day investment challenge. She also has other increments if you want to invest more. I do the minimum. My husband matches at the end of the month. And then we make our investments. In addition to this one... I also pick one fund and um, I one of my current funds that I already am, am, am invested in to go ahead and fund. Um, I haven't picked my fund yet because I've been away and this week's been catch up. So I have to sit down and really figure it out. But I will be in, putting in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars into whatever fund I choose to bulk up. So let me fill in five of these. Okay. So let's put this away. Okay. 
Okay, and then this one is done. And then these are the singles that I had left over um, from my last cash stuffing. And we're gonna go ahead and count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we will go ahead and add those to this. If I can get them out, I always struggle with this. Okay. So this here is 25. That's paper clipped together. And since this is 20, we're going to add five. One, two, three, four, five. And we will, actually maybe what I'll do is take the paper clips off of this and then we'll know this is $50. All okay, and then we have 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So $61. As you guys know, if you've been around for a minute, I do not spend fives or ones if I can avoid it, and I do save them. My fives go towards investments. My dollars just go into my savings until I get enough, and then I put them towards wherever I need extra money going to. Okay, so the only other thing I want to do is to take my change out because I have a lot of it sorry if I'm hitting the camera my change bucket is getting so stuffed I'm gonna need to empty that soon Okay, so I have all of my categories already laid out as to what I'm putting in my envelopes. So we are, we can put ones and fives away. All right, so we are doing normal five in giving. Spending, we are adding 160. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. Next one is gas, and gas is getting $80. And then grocery is 200. Two hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This can go into my wallet. Because now they're ready to be spent. <laughs> okay, so we did all of these. All right, so now with my budget, as you guys know, um, cheer is pretty much done. Um, I actually did not pull any money out of this paycheck to fund my cheer. So I um, made some changes, added some categories, changed up my envelopes. Um, to reflect this. And um, one thing about me, which if you're a regular subscriber and you watch my videos regularly, I love savings challenges. Um, I think it's the visualization that I love so much. Being able, I feel like there's some kind of satisfaction I get out of it. Being able to look at something all colored in or a scratch off all scratched off or whatever it is visually to me it's satisfying when I look at something and can see wow I did that 
Um, so I've decided to just go ahead and do the same thing with my sinking funds. I figured it would be um, definitely more aesthetically pleasing to me to be able to open it up and see the progress I'm making. Um, it's not for everyone. I know not everybody is into tracking in that way, um, but I'm gonna try it because I do enjoy saving challenges challenges so much and I would love to feel the same way about doing my cash stuffings and currently I do not. Um, I do them because I have to do them, but it's not exciting for me in any way, shape or form really, if I'm being honest. So I did look on Etsy. I found, you know, a couple of shops had some of the things I was looking for, but not all of the things. Um, so I decided, I started making ones for my specific categories that fit what I budget for. Um, and although there's a couple I could have outsourced and um, bought from other shops, since I was already making the ones for myself, I went ahead and just made all of them for myself. So that's what you're gonna see. Um, they will probably, the whole set will probably throw up in my Etsy shop just because I've already done the work, I've already made them, so why not share them? So if that's something you're interested in, I will be adding that to my shop. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first one we are doing in my butterfly binder is medical. And to medical, I am adding, $50, $50. So each one of my medical boxes is 25. So we're adding 50. If I can get a 10. Is my money in frame? Yes. All right, so we're adding 50. So I already had money previously. I didn't fill out the card for it. It's just gonna be added into it. So in medical, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. Next one is car maintenance and car maintenance is getting $20. So we're each one of these cars is $10. Next one we're doing is clothing and clothing. I am adding $40. Each one of these items is worth $20. My daughter has a school dance in a couple of weeks. So she's gonna go to the mall this weekend with her friends and pick out a dress. So this money's gonna be going to her, I'm sure. 20, 40, 60, 80, 182 dollars. Next one is home essentials. And home is getting $20. This is one of my new ones. So each one of these houses represents $10. Next one is unbudgeted and unbudgeted is getting $20. So each one of these little pigs is worth five. This is also, this is not a new one. Um, actually, I had unbudgeted before. So we'll add 20. 
Birthdays is next, and Birthdays is getting $60. Each one of these symbols is 20. So I'll be coloring in three of these. And the reason I am bulking this one up a little bit more is because my husband's birthday is coming up in two weeks and my birthday is coming up in two weeks. So I think it's three weeks actually. It's in May, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 510. That'll be it for this one. My daughter's, we have her allowance, which I did not change out. Let's do five, 10. So I'll have to put singles in there for her. So currently she has 20, 45, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. Cheer. So with cheer, yes, cheer is ending, but because she is, she has cheer clinics next week for high school and then tryouts are the week after, and it's probably a given that she's going to make a team. She's trying out for all the teams. Of course she is. Um, so no matter what, there's going to be expenses. There's going to be a uniform to buy. If she makes the cheer competition team, I'm going to be right back to competitions, competition, cheer uniform, um, all the things. Um, even if she just does the sideline football cheer, there's still gonna be expenses with the uniform and whatever else they have, I'm sure. So, I'm still gonna save for cheer. Um, so cheer, I am adding $40 to. And in my, the one that I made, I went ahead and did a generic sports one as well. Um, because I know not everybody is crazy like me and is a tra crazy cheer mom. So there's probably crazy sports moms out there. So there's a different tracker available for sports. All right, so cheer, we're adding 40, 20, 40. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 25. And then my daughter's investment, so she gets her allowance and out of her allowance, she does take money out and puts it in her investment envelope. And then when she gets enough of it, whether it's 20 bucks or whatever it is, she lets me know, I match it. So, okay, so that one is done. And the last one we have to do is this one. We have condo insurance. This is my longer term funds that will not get touched too often. Um, so condo insurance is getting $20. And each one of these boxes represents $20. Then we have condo taxes. And condo taxes is also getting $20. And we are just doing one of these today. So in condo taxes, we have 20, 30, 40, and 50. Condo repairs is also getting $20, and each one of these houses is worth $20, so we'll be doing one. Do you guys hear that? I don't know if you will or not. 
but he's blowing again. <laughs> okay, so in condo repairs, we have 20, 30, 45. Oh my lord. Holidays. Holidays is getting $60. And the reason being that it's getting so much is because Mother's Day is coming up. And I forgot about it. <laughs> Isn't that so terrible? Not only is I have my mom, I have my mother-in-law. And hello, I'm a mom. I don't know how I forget about Mother's Day except for the fact that it always falls on or around my birthday. And so I try and forget it because I always have to share my birthday with my mom, my mother-in-law. Oh, and by the way, my husband and I have the same birthday on the same day. So I have to share it with him too. So that's probably why I forgot. So each one of these holiday symbols is worth $10. And it's got like little Christmas trees. It's got pumpkins on here. It's got gingerbread house and some kind of sparkler cake and gingerbread man. Okay, so we're doing how much in this did I say? Uh, holidays is getting 60, so we need to fill in six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. See, isn't this way more satisfying to look at than a than this thing? Although I'm still gonna do a tracker, I'm just gonna do it off camera. I mean, look at the difference. Ah, oh. <laughs> so anyways, I'm giving it a try. Okay, the next one we have is dental. This is a new one that I added. And each one of my little teeth here is worth 10 and I am adding $20 to dental. I do have dental insurance, but for some reason, whenever I need it, it never works out like I need it to. It ends up costing me a lot of money either way. So I don't understand the point of dental insurance, to be honest. Okay, 20. And then another new one that I added is YouTube. Um, I'm still about 300 away on my subscriber count for um, my channel. I think I'm close to the 700 mark now. Um, but I know it's coming. I'm so patient. Doesn't even bother me. I've already hit my watch time hours I'm over 4,000 already. So it's just a matter of hitting my subscribers. And I know they'll come. I've been growing very organically, very slowly. Um, a couple here and a couple there. And I'm okay with that. My goal was by the end of this year. So hopefully I'll hit by the end of the year. I think I will. But again, I, it's okay. I'm in no hurry taking my time. The most important thing is you guys are watching, apparently, because I have my watch hours. So um, I love all of y'all for doing that. Next one is subscriptions. This is also a new one I added because um, I do see all of you guys putting money away for subscriptions and it's really kind of smart. And um, so yeah, I decided to go ahead and jump on that bandwagon. So they're $10 each and I'm just gonna add a 10. And of course my money is off. Why wouldn't it be? Um, Cause I have all this money left. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let me check off, see here. We did medical, I remember doing that. We did car maintenance, condo insurance, condo taxes, condo repairs, the allowance, clothing we did, birthdays we did. Did I add the money to birthdays?
Yeah, I did. Hmm. All right, well, let's see how much it is. Maybe that'll help narrow it down. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Hmm. $60 is an odd number, not something I use too often. So holidays was at 60. And birthdays was at 60. And that was it. So let me go back and check holidays. Aha, see, I did not add, add, add that. Okay, that's good. At least I found its home. Okay, so in holidays, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 91 dollars. Okay, and that, I believe, my friends, is it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like on the video. And <clears throat> if you stuck around to the end, I truly, 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 truly appreciate you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed it and you want to subscribe. And because I'd love to see you uh, be part of my channel. Um, let me know what you guys think of my new way of doing it, um, with, with the visual aids rather than just the tracker cards. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try it, see if I, it makes me like cash stuffings any better. <laughs> I like watching you guys do cash stuffings but to me, it's kind of on the boring side. So anyways, I will talk to you guys very shortly because I will be doing a savings challenge video coming up. And uh, anyways, I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you, have a great weekend. Have a happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Have a happy Passover if you celebrate Passover. I do both. My husband's Jewish and we're having Passover dinner tomorrow and I am Christian and we're having Easter festivities on Sunday. So we have the best of both worlds and we get all the holidays. So it's all good. Anyways, thank you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.